This is a dressable system test 28. I'm going to be testing the two multi sensors upstairs. That would be the one in the front upstairs bedroom and the one in the landing. I'll be testing two optical smoke detectors in the garage. That's the one at the front and the one at the back. And I'll be testing the heat detector in the blue shed. After that, I'll test the wireless devices. That would be the Echo optical smoke detector in the caravan, which is wirelessly connected to the panel using this module here. I'll also be testing the carbon monoxide detector in the kitchen, which is also wirelessly connected to the panel via that module. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the this is test message across the uh, voice sounders. So I'll put the key in like that. And then I push function, which is mapped to activate the this is a test on the discovery uh, voice sounders. So here we go. Okay, so that's that. So we'll head upstairs and we'll test that multi sensor. Actually, do you know what? It'd be rude not to. So I'm just going to walk around and test and just check all the sounders are working first. Okay, so we'll go upstairs first and just check everything's functioning. Got this gate was broken. Oopsies. This is gonna open for me. Yep. Well that isn't good. We have a casualty. It is not it is not sounding. That's flashing. But that isn't sounding. Alright. Let's mute the system and have a look at that. Okay, let's take a closer look at this one in here. That's funny, it might. The panel didn't know anything of a device missing so it must still be responding on the network have we got a green light yep yes we do how odd I wonder if that's a fluke right what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the test spray and uh, set off the optical in here first right that's changed the plans a bit so I'll do the garage first now Then we'll go upstairs and do those. Okay, so. That isn't any good. Let's just hope that's a fluke. That should be triggering first time. So, test this one, so some gunk on it. All right, three, two, one. Two scoots and you're out. 
can get both of those in shot. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if the LED on that blinks multiple times. The green one. You can hear it in the house. It did blink. But it's not activating. Well, that's crap. So we have a dud. Let's pop that thing out of there. Alright. Just make sure that at least the sensors are working. Sound are not working in there isn't critical, really. It's not really occupied much in here, so stay like that for a little bit. And two scoots and you're out. Yeah, that isn't even triggering, triggering on pre-alarm, so. All right, needs more. Come on. There we go. See, that's working fine. There's nothing wrong with the wiring out here. Okay, so now go upstairs and uh, test the multi sensors. Yeah, I haven't broken the glass in a while, so I'll have to reset that. Um, but we'll test the model sensors before I do that. Oh, you can see me. Let's see if we could fire it from here. It usually works. You just get a temperature increase and it will uh, it will operate. Noise in three, two. One. distance away from it. About 900 millimeters.
I'm at the top of the landing. I'm just gonna test this multi sensor with the hairdryer. Noise in three, two, one. What I'm going to do before I test the one out in the shed is re reset this call point. So just pop that in there like that. Pop the bottom part off like that. Take the glass out. Obviously, chuck it on the floor for everyone to stand on because that's what you do. Put the new glass in. Pop that on. There we go, it's that reset. So I uh, head out to the shed. It's a little bit rainy today. The shed's uh, been used for storage, so it's pretty full of stuff. As you can see, I'll get to the socket, which is very awkward down here. detector there so it says, which is kind of hanging off well, it's, that's all the way hanging off look <laughs> the uh, fixings have uh, failed and it's kind of pulled out one side yeah that is in flex uh, I'm not gonna bother replacing the wiring in the shed it can stay flex until the shed gets ripped down that has uh, <laughs> that has been hanging by one fixing for some time but it does still operate. So just make sure that's back on there. If I can get that screw back in the groove again. Eh, eh, good enough for the girls I go out with. Right, noise in three, two, one. Plug that and plug the plug them back in. Evans of awkward faff in here. That's 
sounds are still not going off in there. But that's another thing we're going to have to repair. Shed, heat detector activated. I'll just chuck that down there now. So now, oh, what's happened? No idea. <laughs> uh, more vents, more other. Oh, oops, overshot that. So, more vents. Input activated, test message. Yeah, that was the function key getting pressed. I'm just gonna give that a few minutes to uh, clear out, then I'll reset the system, and then we'll test the wireless echo devices, and that'll be it. Okay, let's attempt to reset this now. So, reset. Okay, all seems good. I'll test the uh, echo sensor in the house first, since it's just here. Uh, well, <laughs> it's meant to be there. I don't know why, where it's gone. Okay, after faffing around, I've actually managed to find the thing. <coughs> there it is. That's meant to sit there. Here we go. I'm going to test this in three, two, one. There's the blue light. That plays the in the interests of safety message. Location text is, prog is programmed. It says uh, Echo Wireless CO detectors, and uh, it says detectors because there's no addressing on the devices coming in on that. It's literally just a dumb, dumb dry contact. Let me just quickly show you. If we can get this door open. Try not to catch these keys as well. Actually, just pull them out. So this cable here comes from the panel interface module that goes into these terminals here. So the relays connect zero volts to any of these inputs. So this is your common, and if you connect that to continuous, you'll get the full evacuation. You get, if you connect that to an immediate or intermittent, you'll get the uh, intermittent tone, which I've selected to give the, in the interest of safety message to broadcast that. And then, then we've also got a fault contact relay, which activates when you take the echo sensor off its base. It, it broadcasts a fault signal, which triggers this into fault. All right, so now I'm going to go test the sensor in the caravan. That's the echo optical. So I've got the door open already, just to come in here. Okay, use the saber. I'm going to squish this and uh, <laughs> grip my teeth because I absolutely hate the sound Hold of this. Three, two, Saying it's uh, broadcasting the. Oh, sending out its little signal, isn't it? Kind of fall here. Okay, 
Oh. It helps when you put the key back in. Oh, is that the right one? Yes, it's been awkward. Okay, that was addressable system test 28 with the uh, slight issue. And we found a problem with the, the uh, voice sounder in the garage. So uh, we'll have a look, I'll have a look at that and I'll update you either in a feed or a video about that. So yeah, that was addressable system test 28. Thanks for watching.